continue taking questions, okay? But I'm gonna ask one of our deal finders who's in the room right here with you um, and ask her to come on up so she can answer some of your questions. But before she takes questions, um, she can share her experience with you, her experience from sitting at a workshop like this and then signing up and then what it looks like on the other side of signing up and then the type of support we give and, help, and how we help you get from that lead coming in your inbox to actually taking you all the way to close. All right, so let's give our deal finder and a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. So I want you to stand here. And uh, so I met Anna, I'll set the stage. I met Anna at the Think Realty Expo. I think it was April the 15th, somewhere around there. Uh, she talked to me outside the room and said, ready to sign up. We got her signed up. And then I'll let Anna take it over from there. But that's where we met. I never met her before until April 15th at the Think Realty Expo. Did a workshop like this. She signed up. and. Uh, Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. So, um, my name is Anna. I have been working in real estate since 2004. So, I worked as like a property manager first. Then, I, when I moved to this area in 2008, I got the licenses. So, I became a realtor. So, I've been practicing in real estate since 2008. But uh, I got to a point in my life that I just don't want to be working with uh, retail anymore. I'm just tired of working with uh, you know buyers and sellers. So I was looking for a change, and uh, I wasn't quite sure where I was going to find that change. I've been praying, that, oh, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? So I've been researching uh, like this out of town gurus. I wanted to become like an investor agent, <coughs> sort of and I've been researching uh, different groups, and uh, I wasn't quite sure. I didn't feel like we in anywhere else. So I went to the Think Realty, and I ended up with one of the, his workshops, just sitting like you guys are here. And he went through his pitch, like he did right now. And I said, well, no, $199, $600 for six months. That's not going to break me. So let me give it a try. So I gave it a try and signed up. And uh, I start working with him, and um, I signed up, and then like two or three days later, the leads start coming in my inbox. So, whoa, that's a lot of leads. So I start calling them right away. I didn't even, I got so excited with the leads because I work in retail, so I know how hard it is to get those leads clear like this for you. So I work really hard and spend a lot of money to get leads from Zillow, from stuff like that. So it's hard, it's not easy to get these leads, like a motivated seller coming to your inbox. That costs a lot of money. I paid a lot of money for them. So when the leads start coming in, and I felt like, well, this is gonna be, it's not so hard, it's easy. So I start calling people. So I called about like um, 10 people on my first day because the leads would just come, like 20 leads per day like 30 leads per day, sometimes I just five, but you know, sometimes there's a lot of leads. So I'm expecting, well, I've been here now for about, this is the third month that I'm being working with him. And uh, I think it comes about like about 500 leads per month. And then, you know, everyone is, uh, have access to this lead. So whoever calls and sets up the appointment first gets the lead. So I think it's fair. So, I, I called about like 10 people on the first day and I set uh, four appointments, four or five appointments on the first week that I was doing the new appointment. So from these five appointments, one like didn't even open the door for me, <laughs> just locked, I couldn't even find him, it was too far. The other one, it, like, it just didn't work out. But on my first, uh, you know, set of appointments, I was able to put two properties on contract because I found, he found the ready, able, and willing sellers, and I just went there for the appointment. So, from these two deals, one fell apart because the deal number didn't make sense, <coughs> and the other one closed. So, within six days of like, signing up for the deal finders, I was able to actually get a deal on the contract and it went to settlement. 
So we had some complications with them, but then you know we negotiate everything and uh, you just make it work. So after that, I closed another deal for seven months, and now I'm working through several deals, creating sort of like a pipeline that, like, eventually I hope that it will close at least three per month. That's my goal. <laughs> but I'm not there yet. So these things take a little bit of time. You have to build, you have to dedicate the time, you have to make the set up a time on your calendar. I'm really good, very organized. So I set up time during my days. Depending on the week, sometimes I'm really busy, but most of the time I uh, prospect at least like 20 hours per week, and that's how I uh, take advantage of his system. So I don't know, I, so he goes through this at the beginning of his speech and then taking advantage of, taking advantage of other people's systems, other people's uh, relationships. And this is pretty new for me, in spite of the fact that I have so many years of experience in real estate. This wholesaling thing is very new for me. So I am very grateful to be working with him because he has so much experience. And then the things that I don't see, he sees. So working together helps us close the deals. You know, I put my availability, my time, my experience, but then he comes in with his resources as well. So I find for me, you know, on a personal level, I find that it's very helpful. And, uh, you know, it just, Gets the job done. So, if you have any questions, please let me know. So, how did you know what to say to someone when you go show them how to say? Well, basically, look, like I said, I've been working with Dell since 2008. This is not, not news for me. So, I'm used to going to appointments, building a report with people. So I just, you, you know, for me, I just like try my best just to connect with the person. Believe me, even though I have all the deals of experiences, a lot of people that I don't connect with right away. So it's a numbers thing. You have, in my, in my personal opinion, you have to do a lot. You know, like have at least ten, then two or three will close, the others will fall apart. That's the dynamics of this business, and it's no different in wholesale. Because sometimes the numbers don't make sense. So uh, I don't say like I don't say anything. Say I just go and tell them, hey, uh, you have this property here. I'm interested in buying. It. Are you ready to sell? And if he's like, yeah, I'm ready to sell. And I say, okay, I am available tomorrow or Thursday. What works better for you? That's all. So you did your own mm -hmm. script. You didn't have to do that. That's what that's I have been doing for eight years. But uh, he has a script. Oh. So if you don't know what to say. Once you get the email, there's a little button on the bottom say edit. So you click on edit and then the strip comes up for you if you don't know what to say. And then they might ask who are you, where are you coming from, and then you give Andres information. So he has been set to be doing this since 2001. So if you need to check who you are, check him. You know, so here's the company I'm working with and uh, he has everything set up for you. It's really easy. So you can, so we're not trying to create robots. So you can use a script, but if you have experience and you feel comfortable and living a little bit, as long as you get the necessary information, that's what's important. Uh, being that things are blasted out so every day find it, have you ever run into a situation where you had your employment set with the, home, the homeowner and you went out to the property and you know, perhaps they said they only met the person that person had to do it? Uh, once you uh, once you set the appointment, you claim the lead. So yeah. you put your name on the bottom. Once you put your name on the bottom, it's off. So that's real time. So the next we and then like, month, then then nobody else touches it. Real time. And so so like right here. So you look on the screen. The lead comes through. This this deal finder appointment field is blank. Okay. Typically, the rep name will be the name of the person who made the initial call. Okay, so typically it's one of our staff, our outbound staff call center reps. Their name is here. So we would typically say Mary, Wayne, Kyle, one of our staff making the call. This deal finder field will be blank. So the appointment will be blank, and the deal finder field will be blank. So what happened was here, Vanessa actually went into our dialer and made the call herself which you guys have access to do. You can also go into our auto dialer 
and make first outbound now calls yourself if you want to. You don't have to do that. But Reese Hennington, his assistant, and many of our other deal finders choose to also log into our dialer, place the calls themselves, in which case they can place the call, be the first one calling, and also schedule the appointment on that first call. That's what happened in this instance. So an appointment was set on that first call, which is why you see Reese's assistant, Vanessa, be the um, rep calling and also the deal finder. But in a case like um, in a case like Landvale, which was um, Anna's second deal, this lead came through and the appointment field was blank. Winnie placed the call. She's one of our outbound call reps. The deal finder's field was blank. The appointment field was blank. Anna saw this lead like all the deal finders. Anna called the seller, set the appointment, put the appointment date and time in here, and her name is the deal finder, which claims the lead, and all other deal finders sees that update in real time and knows the lead is claimed that and the lead. And that's the process. So Pat, being that the rep claimed the initial call, the rep claimed the initial call. So Anna probably enough to get the point where she first, did she say like, I'm just going to go with Williams, but it's the appointment, or she goes in fresh? Like, she no, she has, she has all this information. So at that point, Anna is just looking to call to follow up and set the appointment, or get missing information. Sometimes maybe one of the questions doesn't answer, because the seller had to get off the phone. But at that point, the deal buyer can just follow up, set the appointment, and claim the lead. But also, uh, what, um... This is one of the good things about this because he's doing the preliminary calls for you and getting as much information as he can. But the thing is, you might get a lead that you call and you can't get a hold of the seller. So you are not supposed to claim the lead because you didn't set up the appointment because you couldn't get a hold of the seller at the time you call. But then someone else sees it and then like they call like two or three hours later and then they get a hold of the seller. So they claim the lead because they actually got a hold of the seller. So you can only claim it if you actually get a hold of the seller. So I think it's very fair, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, it's very fair. We keep this, the leads open to be claimed until someone sets the appointment, understand time they claim it, and then you know take the responsibility of going out to the property, taking the photos or videos, or very, very, um, a, a very, very convenient option for you, if you set the appointment, what's your name? Shantae. Shantae, if you set the appointment, but you don't have time, maybe you work full time, you don't have time to get to Baltimore, you don't have time to get to Northern Virginia to actually take the photos and videos, you can actually have us assign it to a closer. You just set the appointment and you hand off the lead to a closer that does all the work the rest of the way in which you will be going to get that closer back of your hat, 25 percent of the total. So there's options there for deal finders. It's based off of your your, your schedule, your desire, your inclination of what you like and what to do.